Dave Stutter here. Yeah, so right here. He was even on our radio show, so he's expected. Dave? Dave? Okay. Thought I'd speak with you for a moment. Thanks for coming to Salida. Thanks, Mark. And Wallbangers, helping you. us raise money for the various Rotary Clubs and scholarships so that kids have a better chance of going to school. It's awfully expensive today. And going to get more Very expensive. Very much so, yes. Very much so. Very much so, yes. And I put two kids through college well. Scholarships helped a lot being athletes in my family. So yes. that does help. But I understand everything that uh, the parents are going through about having to pay for college is, is astronomical. Uh, whatever we can do to try to uh, generate money is uh, our pleasure. Cause we like, uh, we, I love it, it's light. I've been up here, uh, God, probably 30, 40 times, and uh, I still love coming back. So It's My a great town. Were great you here time. for the fishing, the double hole fishing? No, I, I didn't make the had. fishing, but I used to come up here when I was playing in the 80s with Steve Watson and Keith Bishop and myself, and we were out of town a few miles, and we'd come in and uh, we'd, we'd uh, fish and hang out, just kind of chill out and have fun, and uh, went to the hot tubs, hot springs. Oh, Mount Princeton hot yes, springs, that's yes, wonderful. Love that, and uh, just kind of hadn't got back to it in a while, and uh, I was hit through, it, through it here last year when I came up. Uh, we went to, uh, yeah, where, where the hell we ended up going? Uh, well, we ended up in Grand Junction anyway. Grand right. Vista, yeah. And uh, knew where I was at. Kinda How like many years it. you play pro ball? I played 10 years. Wow. 10 years with the Broncos, yeah. That's a, quite a career to fun. be able to I mean, do. It was good and time. you were in tackle. I played left tackle. Which is what the Nate Solder's playing with the uh, with the Patriots now yeah. these days. Yeah, he's taking care of a right-handed quarterback. Mine was John and Craig Morton. Oh and both, I had both seven. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I had some fun taking care of Craig, taking care of John. And uh, it was it was, uh, it was a great experience. My son plays for Houston, Texas in his fifth year. He's injured right now, but... We have a long, long family history of uh, pro athletes, and there's, I think, five or six of us that played in the NFL right now. So. Uh, explain to me the blind side. Why that's a blind well, side? It looks to me like it's he's he's turned to the right. Is that why? Well, anytime you have a right-handed quarterback, when they take their set, this is how they this is their motion to throw here. Uh -huh. That's the blind side, the back side. I see. The back side of a quarterback. Oh, That's it's actually side. the back side. So the they would side. sweep around so like that. So what they do is they come around the tackles, and if you can't, if you don't have a good tackle that can basically take care of that blind side, then they're getting hit and they get shell shot. Oh. And when they get shell shot, they want to run a lot. John ran a lot because that was John Nason. When he couldn't find something to throw the ball to, he would run. And uh, the older he got, the better he got. So that's I did that for John for six years and uh, for seven years, and then Craig Morton for three years. Wow. Yeah. I never realized how much till I spoke with Nate one time. You guys use your hands. Uh, you have to. It you is. You got to keep them off. You got to keep them away from you because the guys are getting so fast these days that once you get separation to where you want them to go, then, then you basically take them wherever they want to go. That's where you take them. Nate even told me that if he can. He gets his fingers underneath the pads, the shoulder pads. of the of the shoulder yes, you pads, can do that, yes. and it can lift the guy a bit uh -huh. if that happens, like exactly. on his toes. Exactly, because they do a power rush. Yeah, they do a big power rush. They, they try to shock you. If you get your hands to absorb that shock, it basically shuts them down, and then they're going like, "Wow, now what I do?" So they go right, and left, and then you just basically got to have good feet to play. So if you have and good feet, that's the other thing I hear. Is, yes. You got to have good feet. So because once your feet stop, you're, you're, you're dead. Uh-huh. Yeah, once your feet stop. So if you can, it's basically just kind of like mirroring a guy. But you have, when he puts that power on, you got to be able to sink your butt, stop the power, and then control him where he wants to go. And just kind of guide him where he wants to go, but keep him, keep the separation between you and the quarterback. There's a great deal of finesse to it, too, as well as It can strength. be. It can be. I mean, you can give him the outside, and if you have enough speed to pick him up when he goes wide, or goes around the corner, you can catch him, and you can stop him every time. So then they got to figure another pro problem out. How do I get back inside? Uh -huh. So you always keep a guy inside out. So I always keep this right, your left shoulder, inside of me all the time. Oh, is that Inside ice? out. Because he'll get around. If he gets around, I always got this shoulder. I can take him driving by the corner. Uh -huh. So I always want him. I always want him in this position right here. This position right here. Like square on. I no, guess. I want. I, I, I want. I want. I want his right. His left shoulder is what I want. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if I keep him that way, I give him an option. I give him a way to go. Which you know. Which is outside. And then I take him. And as soon as he makes his move, makes his commitment to go outside, 
I just take him driving by the quarterback. Nice. Running by the quarterback. Uh huh. Away from him. Away from him. So you're basically getting on the backside so he can get the ball, and, and now he's back over here by the right tackle. So that's it's just a matter of it's just a matter of studying your player that you're playing against him that day and that week, and see what he likes to do. He likes to if he likes to go inside, does he like twist? He like rushing outside? Is he a fast guy, light guy, light in the ass? Is he a 245 pound line guy? Is he a linebacker who stands up? I mean, you got to know how to get your hands on him and just keep him outside. Here at Wall Bangers, we're raising money with the Rotary Club for very important scholarships, and I understand you guys are on to other towns. Yeah, we got uh, we have four or five towns uh, when the Broncos are uh, basically on the road, and we're doing the same thing. We just kind of gets us out of town for a while and meet new people, which is always good. Whenever you meet new people, it's, you never have enough friends in my life. They're talking about some of the coaches of like Salina High School. Talking about the all weight team right over there. That's the all weight team right there. That's the small, yeah, that's right. That's, that's the small guys. Are and they can beat him at golf if they can't beat him at football. I'll tell you, we know that about Greg Wall and also his son, exactly. a tremendous player. Thank you for coming to Salina so much. It's our pleasure. We're 93.7.